Bang on Drum School. No kit required. Please like and subscribe. Hello, only me. Okay, so as I said in the start of this video, in the intro, I am going to give every single person watching this a free air drum kit. All right. So if you just if I oh, hold on, if I just like lift it up from here and oh, if you just get it, you've got it. You're right in front of you. Simple as that. Wow, the magic, the magic, right? So an air drum kit basically is the same as an air guitar. Wow, look at mine. Oh, got a tune. There we go. An air drum kit is exactly the same as an air guitar. You don't need drums. All right, so I'm going to teach you how to set up your air drum kit. So you want to sit on a nice stool. Don't want any of these big armchairs or like recliners, these lazy boys, okay? You know who you are trying to play drums in a recliner. What we're going to do is get a stool, any kind of stool will do, as long as there's nothing around you that you can bang into, okay? <laughs> so get your stool. You're going to sit with your back straight. I don't want anyone like hunched over. I'm playing like this, can't play drums like this, it's all hunched over and I'm bored, I don't want to do it. Okay, back straight, chest out like, I am gorilla, I will win. So, you got your chest out, what you're going to do is open your legs a little bit, not like, ah, but just kind of like this, alright? Just sitting there. Your feet are in front of you, your hands are going to go on your knees, simple as that. Sitting straight, back straight, not going to be hurting, nice and relaxed. And then you set up your drums. So your right hand, which is this one, hello righty, it is normally what uses to play the hi-hat, okay? And on the standard drum kit, the hi-hat is over on the left and you play it with your right hand. Now people always ask me, why do you cross your hands over to play the hi-hat instead of using your left hand? The reason is, if you were to play with your left hand and play on the hi-hat and that's your lead hand, you'll use that for other toms. So it means you'll be crossing over your body to play these other drums. But if you're only crossing your right stick over your left stick for the hi-hat and you're playing the other toms, you're opening up your body, which is just so much easier to do, you know? So you've got your right hand, <laughs> I remember my left and right. You've got your right hand and it's going on your right knee and this is going to be your hi-hat, okay? So you've got that all set up, all tuned, good. This is your hi-hat. Your left hand, the other one, the one that's not your right, is going to go on your left knee and it's going to be your snare drum, okay? You've got your hi-hat and you've got your snare. We're nearly there building up the basis of a drum kit. And then if you're playing the bass drum, you're going to use your right foot, which is this one. So believe it or not, to play the bass drum, you're just going to stamp your foot. Simple, right? So you've got your right hand on the hi-hat, your left hand on the snare, and your right foot is going to be the bass drum. Now your left foot is going to be the hi-hat pedal, but we're not going to need that yet. So just let it relax. So if you want to be able to play drums, Apart from having your air drum kit, which you all have, and hopefully you've all got them set up, you have to be able to count to four. All right, and if you can't count to four, I, I'm kind of worried. I don't know how you managed to get a YouTube video up. <laughs> okay, because it's pretty basic. Count to four. One, two, three, four, for those that don't know. M most music revolves around the sort of back to the blues. It was four, four time. And most kind of modern pop, rock, um, punk, metal, it's all pretty much four, four time. So we're going to work counting in fours and eights. All right, so with our drum kit set up, hands on our knees, feet ready to go, we're gonna use our right hand to count to four. So what you're gonna do is go one, two, three, four. Easy, that's it, okay? Don't be slapping yourself as well. I don't want you going one, two, three, ah! And having these huge big bruises or welts in your legs, okay? Just tap it away, but don't be beating the life out of yourself. So. Right hand, one, two, three, four. And instead of going to five, I'm gonna go back to one. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so drums, I always tell people when you're learning how to build up drum beats, it's like playing with Lego, it's like using Lego. So you don't like have a big bucket of Lego. Everybody knows what I'm talking about, but not that big bucket you have that's just full of random pieces. You don't just decide one day when you're a kid and go, I'm gonna build a house and get the big box and go Whoa! and all of a sudden the house appears. It just doesn't work, right? It's just a mess that you have to tidy up. So you start by building like a little square and then on top of that square you add some more pieces and then you add some more and some more and some more and some more. And before you know it, you've got this house, this big structure of building up. Drums are the same way. What I just showed you is like your little square, okay? So you're starting off like that and you're adding things to it and what we're gonna do is build up the drum beat like we're doing the Lego and adding the little pieces, okay? So we've got the one, 
two, three, four, just like that. Now, in case you're wondering what this is, this is a practice pad. Some people have these. If you have one of them, perfect. I would use this one on your right knee for your hi-hat. Or if you have drumsticks, you can use your practice pad with your right hand for your hi-hat, left hand for snare. But I'll show you that in a minute. Just in case you want to, what's that big white satellite dish right beside him when he's teaching me drums? It's a practice pad. So, here we go. Count to four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now, we're going to build on that. So we're going to stamp our foot. We're going to play the bass drum on uno, on one. So you're going to go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So you're hitting the hi-hat and the bass at the same time on one. One, two, three, four. Then, we've kind of built a couple of bits up now. Let's build some more. So we're going to use our left hand on the snare drum. So it's going to go on three. So you're going to go hi-hat and bass, hi-hat, hi-hat and snare, hi-hat. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay? Now again, don't be beating yourself up. Don't be punching your legs or slapping your legs when you get excited. Okay? And keep it slow. Don't be rushing ahead. I know I'm one that talks in about calming down, I'm pretty hyper, but one, two, three, four. Okay, so it's your turn. Try that as many times as you can. One, two, three, four, bass on one, snare on three, and the hi-hat goes on one, two, three, and four. Okay, once you get to four, go back to one. Simple as that. Now I'll show you what it looks like on a practice pad. Okay, now here is our practice pad. So. Same again, instead of playing on your knees like this, we're going to have our hands on the practice pad. If you have a little stand for it, perfecto. If not, just put on a wee knee or on a table or whatever way you want to do it. It's totally up to you. It's your drum kit. Make it your own, baby. So, both your hands are going to go here. You're going to use your right hand to count to four. One, two, three, four. Un, deux, trois, quatre. Okay, one, two, three, four. Remember, bass drum's going to boom on one. So you're going to go one. Two, three, four. Now, you don't need to do it as exaggerated as that. I don't want you to, uh, like you're trying to stamp and kill something, okay? Just a little bump. <laughs> so, one, two, three, four. So, remember, left hand on three. So, it's exactly the same as using it on your knees on a practice pad. Cool. Oh, on to you now, baby.